Hey, what's up? What you doing? So, Chill. You see this shirt? Um, it's a blue Under Armour shirt. It is. Yeah. You know why I have a blue Under Armour shirt? Why do you have a blue Under Armour shirt? Cassie told me I can't wear my Chase shirt anymore. She said that I can't wear it two weeks in a row on YouTube. Really, YouTube? I don't, I don't think. I, I think you can wear what you want to. I think so. Too. I think so too. Yeah. What do you think? I like his Chase shirt. I got mine too. I haven't worn mine yet. This is more. This is more better. It's more better. More better. So the phrase of the day. Mo better. Mo better. Let's play with spiders today. This girl just ate, so uh, I'm not worried about getting bit this week. Yeah. I should have worn my spider shirt. Oh, well. I should have worn your Spider Man. Oh, yeah. My Spider Man shirt. Instead of uh, your Justin shirt. I do. That's right, I do have my Justin shirt on. What's up, Spider? What kind of spider is that? I'm not happy. Uh, Mexican Ridney. A Mexican Ridney. Yeah. How big do they get? Mm, I think five, six inches. Really? It's not bad. So pretty much right now, it's the size of the biggest spider in Georgia. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, these are uh, usually the ones that you see in uh, typical movies because they have the really bright knees okay. as adults. So the Brachypelma species, which is what this is, mm -hmm. usually in Mexico area, and um, they're known for being really docile. And when when they hatch out of their eggs. It's uh, they're actually really brown, and it takes pretty much their whole lifespan to develop before they actually start getting some color. Hmm. So every time we see the movies with the creepy spiders crawling the skulls and stuff like Most that, most of the time that's a Mexican. It's gonna be a Mexican redney. Mm -hmm. Yet another reason for Craig to move to Mexico. <laughs> Look at that. Get back in there. I actually have another. Uh, She does not want to go back in. One of your um, little friends that you feed her just crawled on your shoulder. This is a, a Mexican pink, and these guys are super rare. But that's time. Yeah. Oh, this is this is actually that should be the thumbnail photo. Over uh, probably over a year old now. That little thing. Yeah. What's up, big man? He said he wants to see the spider too. Yeah, the Brachypelma species are really slow growers. So that little guy eats something like gnats and mm -hmm. flies and stuff like that? Yep. But, once again, this is a Brachypelma species just like the red knee that mm -hmm. we just seen, but see how brown and ugly it is? Mm -hmm. They completely change. As, now is it the same? It is it the same spider? Is that a red knee also, or is no, this? This is a Mexican pink. A Mexican pink. Mm -hmm. Okay, and will it become pink? Mm. Ish. 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 Okay. Wonder if I can get to eat this net. Probably oh, not. I just oh. fed them. Okay. That's the problem with having fruit flies around. Yeah. Fruit flies get everywhere. Oh, I understand that. Mexican pink. So, is it a girl or a boy? Don't know on that one yet. Name's Mr. Pink. Right now it's a it. <coughs> it's an it. Spiders. All right, <laughs> so today I want to talk about something that I think everybody kind of suffers from. So we'll get to story time with Craig in a minute. Yeah. But the importance of males. I am constantly getting asked about females. What females do you have available? I want to buy females. Females, females, females. That's good because females lay eggs. But everybody always skips over the fact of how important males are. 
the males are just as crucial, if not more crucial, than what the females are. Because without those genes, without that male breeding, the females don't do any good. So I'm a firm believer in having two males per project. And the reason for that is I can't tell you how many times I have come into this um, situation and how many times my fellow friends and breeders have come in a situation as well where they buy a male and they got all these plans for it and something happens whether it's he doesn't eat very well and doesn't get to size to breed or if he does get to size he just pure out won't will not breed and I think that Buying two males makes that possibility of making those projects happen that year. So when I buy in on a project, I try to buy in usually two pairs, two males, two females on one particular project. It's my personal preference, but I really believe in those projects, you really want to get two males in. So I'll give you an example of something that for me, I done. I bought into uh, Cypher stuff. Okay. And I actually ended up, I don't really exactly remember what happened, but I ended up keeping two males. So, this is a Cypher Cinnamon Yellow Belly male. This was not my first choice on Cypress males. Really. <clears throat> but I'm glad I got him because he produced babies for us last year and produced babies for us this year already. So it was a good investment. So this was originally my first pig male, or pull back, which is a fire cypress honey yellow belly. This is the male that I wanted to breed for me last year. He would not breed for us at all last year. So this year he started breeding and we have some eggs finally cooking from mm -hmm. him. But this was my original male that I wanted. Like had like I, yeah, exactly. He's yeah. a beautiful snake. So had I not chose to keep that second male from the cypress project i would not have been able to produce any cypress last year wouldn't have any cypress combo females that i kept from him last year in the whole back rack mm -hmm. so it really would have hurt my cypress project i also made several blackhead cypress combos from that cypress cinnamon yellow belly male last year that were extremely impressive in some of the world's first. Uh, I do, I do remember those. Yeah. So I would have never been able to make that had I not chose to keep that second choice male as a breeder that turned out being one of my best breeders for last year. So pretty much, we need to keep a uh, B team. Got to keep the B team. Got to keep the B team <laughs> just in case. Yeah. So I'm well known for the black Ed gene and the stuff that I've done with it, and. The reason that I've been so successful with making so many combinations with Blackhead is because of the males. Right. You know, I used uh, four or five different males last year alone to make some of the combos and stuff that I've made. Mm -hmm. So, once again, more than one male for your project is the way to go. We're really sorry this video this week is going to be kind of short, but it's been a rough week here, and honestly, I'm just ready to have a beer. <laughs>